Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. I'm a writer and a freelance editor, and you're watching my YouTube channel. And you're watching Disney Channel. I'm trying to come up with a new intro. Nothing's really sticking. Bear with me. Today we're doing a writing video. So initially, my thoughts for this video were I really just wanted to have a sit-down chat about stuff, which I ended up doing in my most recent weekly vlog, not on purpose. I wasn't intending to. I just like started talking and then it all came out. So if you're interested in that chat i'll have the weekly vlog link down below but today's video is going to be kind of a two-parter one we're going to have this sit down chat at the beginning about writing publishing future plans everything that's going on all that kind of stuff and then the second half will be a writing vlog for this weekend today saturday so i figured we would just do a weekend writing vlog saturday and sunday it's july when i'm filming this so it's camp anorimo i'm currently writing a book all that jazz let me know down below in the comments if you guys are participating in camp anorimo what you're working on if you're writing anything right now i'd be super interested to know before we get into the rest of the video though let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this weekend's vlog. Skillshare is an online learning community with tens of thousands of classes in a variety of different topics but my favorite have always been the writing classes. They have so many different topics even within writing that you can check out and they're great if you're a new writer and you're trying to learn something new or if you're just trying to brush up on some skills that you already have. A class of theirs that I'm thinking about trying next it's called Creative Writing Boot Camps start a brand new story and this just sounds like really fun. I've taken quite a few of their writing classes before but they've all been very like craft heavy, very focused on the technical side and this one just seems more of like focused in working with your creativity and helping you brainstorm and getting inspired and things like that so I think it'll just be like a fun thing to swap in. So I'll have a link down below in my description if you're interested in trying them out. The first 1,000 people to use my link will get two months for free which is a great deal and the memberships after that are super affordable it's less than ten dollars per month and the membership gives you unlimited access to all of the classes on their site so you could jump around and try a million different new things if you wanted to that's what i've been doing i've tried sign language i've tried graphic design i tried procreate like i tried all of these different random subjects just because i could and if you're feeling stuck honestly with writing i think one of the best things that you can do is do something that's not writing and learn something new or go do something different just to kind of give your brain a break and maybe using some different parts of your brain to reactivate your creativity if that makes sense so make sure to check that link down below in my description if you're interested in trying them out so without further ado let's get straight into the video okay so i actually took some notes this is going to be like a casual chat obviously because i'm sitting on the floor but i also took some notes so it wouldn't be super disorganized of all the things i wanted to talk to you about hey guys i'm popping in here after i just finished filming this intro clip so my little chat here at the beginning ended up being over 25 minutes of footage so I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below in the description if you're not interested in catching up or hearing the chat like I really won't be offended it's totally fine if you just want to jump to the writing vlog portion of this video okay the first and foremost let me give you an overview like catch up just because I know I have a really like wide variety of viewers I have people who've been here through this entire process for years and know everything that's going on people who have joined me recently and kind of know what's happened recently and people who are brand new so I wanted to talk to you about like future publishing plans and my goals for the rest of the year, things I'm currently working on and just like all of that kind of stuff. So if you don't know, I have two books out right now, The Sweetest Kind of Poison and The Anti-Virginity Pact. Sweetest Kind of Poison is a collection of poetry and that came out in 2018 and The Anti-Virginity Pact is a young adult contemporary novel that came out in June of this year. And then my third book is coming out this year as well on October 1st and that one's called Poems for the End of the World, which is obviously another poetry collection. And if you've been following along with my writing vlogs and stuff, you know I've been writing a million different projects in between. So in NaNoWriMo of last year in November I wrote a rough draft of a book which is the first book in like a new adult romance paranormal kind of series which unfortunately I have not touched since November because I've been working on so many other things. I have Project Z and the sequel which is like a new adult space opera science fiction series that I've written the first two books for and I've been revising the first book and the second book is only in a rough draft form. And then I'm currently writing my Camp NaNoWriMo project which is what I want to talk to you about just in case you missed that last weekly vlog what it's about because understandable if you don't want to watch a 30 minute vlog just to hear this little bit. So yeah we'll talk about Project Z and the sequel as well that's something I also talked about in that weekly vlog but I know a lot of you have been asking for updates on that because I've shared that entire process on this channel. Also if you're newer and if you missed all of those vlogs I'll have playlists linked down below in the description. I did a weekly vlog during the entire writing process for honestly both of those books. I feel like this is already coming across as so disorganized. Okay so let's start with Camp NaNoWriMo. What am I writing this month? I've been kind of vague in telling you that I'm writing a new adult romance novel, which is true. So the book that I'm writing is actually a companion novel to the Anti-Virginity Pact, and the book is following Joanna, who is the best friend of the main character in the Anti-Virginity Pact. And so 
The Anti Virginity Pack takes place their senior year of high school, and so the second book that I'm working on follows Joanna and it's a then now time frame. So we're following her freshman year of college and her senior year of college. So the books kind of connect just because of the characters, but you could read one and not the other. You could read them in whatever order, it wouldn't really matter. And so the only reason why I hadn't really shared that it was a companion to the Anti-Fraternity Pact and I was being vague about it was just because people had been asking me to write that or if I was gonna write a sequel to the Anti-Fraternity Pact. So I knew people were interested in it. And I've been in a really bad writing publishing just like all of that kind of slump lately and so this Camp NaNoWriMo project was really a way for me to get out of that slump and to just write something that would be purely for fun for me which it has been it's been a really great time but because of that I didn't know if I was ever going to publish this project or if it was just going to be for me so I didn't want to tell people I'm writing this and get people's hopes up because I knew it was something that people were interested in but that's what I'm working on it's actually been even more fun than I thought it would be so for Camp NaNoWriMo you can set whatever word count goal that you want and so for this one I set a 30,000 word goal Goal just to not pressure myself that would be around a thousand words a day which really isn't that bad if you're not really familiar with word counts that's like four double spaced pages a day so let me pull up my stats actually I use the website called pacemaker planner for tracking my books I've been using this for years now I love it you can pay for a subscription to it but there's also a free version I just use the free version it just means you can only have two projects on there at once would highly recommend I'll link it down below if you're interested it just looks like this and it gives you I don't know how well you can see this I should have just done like a screen recording but it gives you a graph of your day-to-day -day stuff and then also your overall progress so I've been averaging over 2,000 words a day which is great I've only had one day so far this month that I haven't written anything and we're currently at about 18,500 words so we're more than halfway and I decided that I wanted to write one timeline at a time so I've been writing the entire then timeline and then I'm gonna go back and write the now timeline because I started off writing like switching off each chapter and every time I got to the now chapters, I got stuck because the then storyline was so much more clear to me. So I was like, instead of like disrupting my flow every time I get to a now chapter, let's just write all of the then ones and then we'll go figure out the now later. So we're already almost at 20,000 words and that's just with one of the storylines. So I have no idea how long this book is going to be. I'm only not even halfway through the storyline too, <laughs> but it's been so much fun. I Like I love Joe's character. I know some people really didn't like her in the book, which is like fair because in my opinion, she's like very immature in the anti-virginity pact and maybe I loved her because like I saw potential in her and I knew she was going to turn out to be like a better person later if that makes sense like she's a senior in high school in the first book and so this book has been so much fun because I'm following her her freshman year and her senior year so I'm getting to go through such like formative years for her and so I'm getting to see her go through some really hard stuff but also grow up and mature a lot and become a better version of herself so I feel like protective of her character I'm like a proud mom like watching her grow up as I'm writing this so it's been really fun if you care at all about like details right now it's gonna turn into like a friends to lovers kind of situation and it's really freaking cute <laughs> I'm obsessed with it I'm having so much fun so that's what we're gonna be working on this weekend I also asked you guys if you had any questions for me on Instagram and someone asked just like about writing or my projects or anything in general so I could address them in this video so we'll probably just like every once in a while go through these questions throughout this vlog so one that I get a lot is will you be doing writing centered vlogs again like with a sequel so if you missed that I did a weekly vlog every week while I wrote the rough draft of the sequel and I think it took us seven vlogs to finish that book so that's something i've been going back and forth with myself a lot about this channel because i personally loved making those vlogs those are some of my favorite videos that i've made i really really like just the writing vlogs but i also know that my audience on this channel is kind of weird like it's split very distinctly i have a lot of writers over here and people who are interested in writing publishing whatever the view count is on this video that's the percent like it's usually like one to two thousand people who are interested in it and then the other people only care about reading and um, they don't want to hear about my writing they don't want to hear about publishing they don't want to hear about my life they literally just want to hear about the books which is fine so when I was making those weekly writing vlogs I got a lot of feedback from people who didn't like the vlogs just because they weren't interested in writing that was seven straight weeks of my channel only being about writing because it's like impossible for me to make weekly vlogs where like two vlogs that are both weekly vlogs in the same week where like one's just for writing and one's for everything else like that would be way too much for me to juggle in my head so I do miss doing strictly writing vlogs but I also know there's a lot of people who just like don't like that and so not that I'm trying to like cater to everyone else but it's just like I totally get that like if I was subscribed to someone and I didn't care about like one part of their life and then suddenly their channel became only that part of their life 
that wouldn't be very fun for me so like I get it so for now like in this most recent weekly vlog that I did I incorporated my writing stuff throughout the week but I also incorporated everything else so I don't know I'm trying to figure out how to balance that whether it's best to put everything in one vlog or to separate it I don't really know I'm trying to figure it out but that's what this weekend vlog is it's only gonna be writing so like we did in the sequel vlogs I guess I'll update you on my word count even though I can't update you on that many days because we're only gonna do two days in this vlog but I'll update you on the word count that I got on the days that I wasn't vlogging so the seventh what day of the week was that let's start with Tuesday of this week I didn't write anything on Tuesday that was the only day so far this month that I haven't written anything I really just needed a break and that's okay I was actually looking back at my graph from the sequel and seeing like my trends and whenever I had a day where I didn't write the next couple of days were awesome for me writing wise so I think sometimes it's really important to take a break day if you're not feeling it and to let yourself recharge because then the next day on the 8th which was Wednesday I wrote 1106 words which is very low for me on an average like not a terrible writing day my minimum for myself is a thousand words so it was a fine writing day but then the day after that on the 9th which was a Thursday I wrote 3326 words that's my second best writing day so far this month it was a great day and uh, not only had I been like writing throughout the day I was like so inspired that I was making notes to myself of things that were gonna happen later in both timelines I was going to sleep and I got up three times in the middle of the night the first time I just like grabbed my notebook and like scratched down a couple of ideas the second time I was like I gotta do it I flipped on the light brought my computer into bed and wrote probably like another thousand words like an entire scene and then in the middle of the night I got up again and did that again like I just had so much enthusiasm for it and I felt like re-energized about the project so Thursday was a good day I didn't get any sleep that night but it was a good day and then Friday yesterday I wrote 1355 words but I also did a lot of planning for what I'm gonna write today so that's where we're at it's kind of hard to know exactly what my word count is because my novel is split up into so many different documents right now with the then chapters the now chapters my outline my brainstorming all of this kind of stuff so I think our starting word count for this vlog is 18,481 words so we definitely want to hit 20,000 words this weekend um I think we can do better than that we'll see so before we get into the vlog portion of this video was there anything else I wanted to talk to you about oh yeah there's more questions on Instagram oh yeah um, let me briefly tell you about the sequel and project z in case you missed last week's vlog if you don't know where that book is at right now project z my initial plans like publishing wise was to publish project z projects. for a second i was like convinced that was not what i've been calling it okay anyway my initial plans had been to publish project z early next year we're talking like february or march and then the sequel would come out later next year <laughs> um so I don't know if that's gonna happen anymore so basically my publishing plans for this year obviously are final the anti-virginity pack came out in June poems for the end of the world came out in October and so I decided to not set anything in stone for next year because project Z is giving me a lot of headaches right now it's in draft four or five right now it's actually currently with a couple of sensitivity readers I actually just had a phone call with one of them yesterday where we went over some stuff and I was actually feeling really really bad about the book before that phone call and then the phone call made me feel better so if you're watching this Nicole thank you <laughs> I was feeling very discouraged about this book so hearing you enjoy it made me feel better but yeah it's not in a place where I want it to be and I don't want to publish anything that obviously I'm not entirely proud of or it's not the best that I can make it so for now I'm setting it aside like I said I'm still getting feedback from my two sensitivity readers and then Paige my friend also has it so we'll get the feedback back um, I've actually been in discussions with a developmental editor which is an, the type of editor that I thought I wouldn't use but I think it might be beneficial for this book so we might go that route I don't really know yet um, that project is up in the air I just thought I would update you because I know a lot of you have been invested in this project with me because I started writing it in the vlogs two years ago oh my god yikes so yeah as of now with project z i'm feeling a little discouraged about that book it's not where i want it to be i feel like i've over edited it and turned it into a version of it that i don't like anymore and i'm at a place where like i don't know how to fix it or if it can even be fixed but i want to fix it obviously i don't want to just give up on it but i also think i'm like trying to force it so my plan for now is to set it aside and to focus on other projects and hopefully come back to it in the future with a clearer perspective and to be able to fix it some more <laughs> So um, that one might get published a lot later than I was initially anticipating, which is unfortunate, but I think it's better to wait and put out a better version of it than to just try to stick to my original timeline and throw out something that's not my best. The good news is Poems for the End of the World is completely done. 
aside from I'm gonna do another round of proofreading. So we're all set to go for October, no worries there. And even if Project Z doesn't work out for next year, I still have that rough draft that I wrote in November that I really wanna go back to. And I have the book that I'm writing right now, which is like going so well and I'm loving it so much. So I'm definitely planning on publishing something next year of some sort but I don't know which project it's gonna be yet. So that's my very messy update. I'm looking at the time on the viewfinder and I'm so sorry if any of you are still here. So let me just take one more glance at the questions then we'll switch over to the vlog. Do you get writer's block? If so, how do you work around it? All the dang time. I think it's important though to recognize the different kinds of writer's block. Like why are you blocked? Is it because you're feeling burnt out and you're exhausted and you need a break and you need to take a day off like I was just talking about and then the next day you feel better. Is it a block where you've done something wrong in the manuscript, you've taken a wrong turn and you need to delete whatever you just wrote and start over? Because that happens to me too where you just, it happens to everyone, you just take a wrong turn and you're stuck for a reason, you're stuck because you've done something wrong and you need to backtrack. Or are you stuck just because you feel like you don't want to write? Um, if it's the third case scenario, I force myself to write anyway. Even if I don't get a ton of words on the page, even if it's only like 500 words in a day, I force myself to at least try. And if it's just not happening that day, then it's not happening that day and try again tomorrow. But I think the danger is relying on writer's block as an excuse to just not write then. You need to do some problem solving and figure out why it's happening. Because there's days when I don't want to write that I still push myself to write. Like you can't just write on the days that you wanna write or you're never gonna get anything done. And someone asked, where do you usually get your inspiration from? Inspiration is kind of a tricky word. I don't know, like um, you guys know I make playlists for all of my books. I listen to a lot of music, I really like that. I'll have the playlist for my Camp Nano project down below if you want, it's on Spotify. Um, so I listen to music, I get inspired from movies that I watch or TV shows that I watch. I get inspired from books that I read. I get inspired from like nature and going outside or just like new experiences and trying new things. Like you get inspiration from a million different places. So I know it's like a really vague answer, but go live your life, do interesting things, expose yourself to other people's art. And I think that's the best way to get inspiration. So anyway, <laughs> I think that's it for this chat. Now it's time for us to try and get some writing done today. I have some like general notes, like I know what's gonna happen in this chapter, but I don't know exactly what the scene is gonna look like. So I'm gonna do some more brainstorming to like choreograph the scene and figure out exactly what's gonna happen and then we'll get to writing. Okay, so I've been sitting here making some notes to myself on where I'm going with this chapter and just kind of brainstorming and stuff and I think I have a solid plan now. So it's like one o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. So we're gonna make some lunch and then we're gonna set up somewhere comfy and get some writing done. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the background. Max has just woken up from her nap and she's ready for some attention. And I just finished writing our first scene for today. This chapter is gonna have two scenes in it, so we're still gonna keep writing. But that means I've written 1,547 words so far today, and we finished one scene, and it's so cute, and it's so much fun with it. So, and I'm gonna take a break, clean up this from filming earlier, give the cats some attention, because they're both upset. Dean was up here, and I think he gave up because I wasn't giving him enough attention. And then we'll come back and write the second scene a little bit later. It's a little after two o'clock right now. I just finished the chapter which means I've written 2,034 words for the day and our total word count is now at 20,515. So with our first writing session, I've already met the goal for the weekend, which I'm very happy about. And the chapter I wrote was really fun and easy to get on the page. Like I didn't struggle at all. So now I'm gonna go back to looking at my notes and see what I have coming up for this next chapter. And I might start writing it, but if not, I'll probably just get all of like the planning and notes stuff ready so I'm ready to go tomorrow, kind of like I did today. And I'm gonna take a break and go get a workout in. Now that I finished my workout and I am thoroughly sweaty, I've gotten some more questions that came in on Instagram, so I figured we would do another Q&A little section here. I'm getting this question a lot and I'm assuming I'm still gonna get it a lot because I'm answering it in like the middle of the video so not that many people are gonna see it. But I realize I haven't like addressed this in a video. I've just like answered comments before in other videos. Are you still doing online teaching? No, I'm not teaching anymore. If you want more reasoning on that, I guess I could make like a video about that. Nothing bad about it. It's just that job was on a six month contract basis. So I did two contracts and once I came to the end of that term, I just no longer needed that income. And it was just like, it came down to, I could be using my time in better ways. And I was just stretching myself too thin, trying to do that like really early morning teaching and really late at night. So my days were from like five in the morning till 10 at night and I was just feeling burnt out. So it just made more sense to take it out of my schedule. So no, I'm not teaching anymore. Is the pandemic hurting your creativity? The news bums me out so bad, my mind feels blank. I definitely go through like on and off periods. I've definitely had to be 
more kind to myself during this time and take more days off and more like mental health days. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time and you've seen like what my routine looks like, I used to watch the news every single morning with a cup of coffee in bed and I have really cut that out of my routine. I don't really watch the news in the, anymore in the morning because it was upsetting me so much. Not that I'm not like still getting the news, I just don't start my day that way anymore. And then also I'm just like watching the news less. And so yeah, some days the creativity feels like an outlet for me and like something that helps me. And then some days I just like don't have it in me. So on the days that I don't have it in me, I don't push it. But I also try to do things that will like, I don't know, nourish me and like kind of get me feeling better. So then maybe in a day in the future, I'll be will more able to do creative stuff. So I've been trying to keep up with working out because working out makes me feel a lot better. I've been trying to eat healthy, drink a lot of water, like just like stuff like that. Watch like old favorite movies. Some I saw something recently saying like people who rewatch TV shows or old movies that they love, it's like something people with anxiety do as a coping mechanism. And I never thought of it that way. But it's so true for me because like when I'm feeling really anxious or something or just like watching something that I've already seen and I already know what's gonna happen is so calming to me. So watch things that you've already watched apparently is a good tip that's been helping me a lot. I'm struggling to feel confident in my writing. Any tips for a newbie writer? Honestly, when you're new, I really, really would try your best to not worry about the quality and just to enjoy the actual act of writing. You should just be doing it for the enjoyment in the beginning and don't really think too far ahead. By all means, like, find some resources, learn, watch YouTube videos, read blog articles, read craft books, like improve your craft, take classes maybe. But in the beginning, that's like the honeymoon phase. Like just enjoy the writing at that point. The cats have joined us. Least favorite part of the process? Whatever part of the process I'm currently in. <laughs> Drafting, I think takes the most out of me because you constantly have to be on and you're constantly pouring in this creativity. I think I tend to like editing more because I'm an editor but at the same time, it's harder to edit my own work. I don't know if I have a least, I don't know. That's a hard question. I don't know if I have a least favorite part of the process. Let me know down below in the comments. What's your least favorite part of the process? Mine is probably writing the second act. Any part dealing with the second act of the book. That's always the hardest for me. So I think those are all the questions that we'll answer right now. And as more come in, we'll do more Q&A sessions within the blog. Hello, everybody. It's like five o'clock. I don't know how the day always gets away from me. I just heated up some dinner that I meal prepped earlier this week. If you care about food, it's tofu potatoes, sweet potatoes, zucchini, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. And I was out of ketchup, so I'm eating it with a vegan ranch. Don't judge me. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm actually gonna film a video for my self-publishing one-on-one tier on my Patreon page. So the video I'm gonna film today is about how to format your books, both if you are submitting to agents, just like standard manuscript formatting, and then also formatting if you're trying to publish your own books, and everything that goes into that, both for print and for ebooks. So we're gonna film that video. I may or may not get more writing done today. I've got a lot of other stuff I'd like to do tonight, and I'm happy with the progress that we've made, but I also feel like I could write more. Hello, it's now 5.30. It took about half an hour to film that video. It's gonna be a long one. And also I'm an idiot, and I was doing like a screen record while I was talking to show what I was talking about. Thankfully I was doing it in sections and like screen recording as I moved on to different subjects because one of them I just straight up deleted instead of saving it. So I'm gonna have to go back and redo the screen record and try and match it to with what I'm saying. I'm so annoyed with myself. So I'll update you if I get any more writing done later tonight. Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough Hello everybody So I've been sitting here with my cozy little setup Got a candle I've got two helpful cats And it's about 8 o'clock So we're gonna call it a night with the writing We made some good progress Our word count for today is officially 2,405 words Which is awesome Wrote chapter 11 in its entirety and started writing chapter 13. They're switching off because the now chapters will go in the middle, you know? So chapter 13, I had notes for, but I didn't realize that I actually didn't really know what was gonna happen in this chapter. So mainly tonight I've been brainstorming and figuring out what I was gonna do and I came up with the perfect solution. So I'm really happy. Like I knew it was gonna happen in the second half of the chapter, but I needed something to lead into that, you know? So anyway, I only wrote 200 words into that chapter, just kind of like set it up. So that's what we will write tomorrow. And now I've got all my notes for it. So we're all good to go. So I shouldn't get stuck tomorrow. 
that's kind of been my goal at the end of each day is to make notes and to figure out what I'm writing the following day so I can just jump straight into it so I don't have the opportunity to sit here and be like oh, I don't know what to write I'm like yeah you do you planned it the night before so that means our overall word count is now 20,886 words so I'm guessing because this is like half of the chapters once the other half goes in will be at about the 40,000 word mark which will be halfway if not a little bit over halfway through the book which is perfect so good stuff i'll update you tomorrow hello happy sunday <laughs> this update is coming to you from my bed on my laptop camera with the ac on it's probably really loud i'm sorry maybe i should at least like sit up so i don't have like tension today we are lacking in energy and motivation dean wasn't here with me but now he's left so now i'm alone and it's kind of more sad I'm watching Teen Wolf. So far today I've written 335 words. I don't know if I'm gonna write any more than that. And I'm not upset about it. I just kind of decided I needed a day off, like just like full on relaxed, lazy kind of day. And I need to stop feeling guilty about taking those kind of days because it's a weekend and I have a really bad tendency of overworking myself. So for now we're gonna hang out and just keep doing nothing. And then if I feel more motivated, we'll write some more tonight. And I'm actually not nannying tomorrow so I can stay up late and write and stuff. So. Hopefully the next time I update you, I'll have better news and it will be on my real camera. Hello, um, it's now 5.45 and I did write a little bit more earlier, but I'll update you on that later once I write some more. Right now I'm working on editing client stuff. This one I'm thinking I'm gonna finish up tomorrow. So I just wanna finish a read through of it tonight and then I'll reread it tomorrow. And I'm very grateful that I've been having so many editing clients lately, but it's also just been a little bit stressful <laughs> trying to balance everyone. Cause I try to accommodate everyone's deadlines as best I can, but I'm booking out like several months in advance right now. Every time I think I get it under control, I get like a new wave of people. It's just been hard to keep under control at the moment, which is a good problem to have, but still stressful. I'm still watching Teen Wolf. I think I'm like halfway through season three now. I actually think someone's doing writing sprints tonight on YouTube. I think it's Sarah Sutton. She has, um, she's doing like 10,000 words in a day today, and she's doing a writing sprint tonight. I think in 15 minutes. So maybe I'll work on this editing project for 15 minutes and then once she starts her writing sprints, I can tune into that and hopefully go back to writing my own stuff. I think I've only written like 600 words or something today. So I'm definitely not gonna hit the 10,000 words that she's hoping to hit tonight, but it would be great if I could hit like 1,500 or even just 1,000, honestly. So that's the plan. Just in time for the live show. I finished my client's project or at least my read through. So this is what we're gonna be doing now. It's now 7.30. I just realized I haven't had dinner, so we're gonna go make some food, but um, I think we've done two writing sprints so far and we're doing really well. So my word count for the day is now 2,366. I was thinking I wasn't even gonna hit like a thousand words today, so I'm really happy with that. So our total word count is now 23,252. So um, I reached the end of chapter 13 and I have like a vague idea of what's gonna happen in chapter 15, but not enough that I feel comfortable like jumping in and starting to write the scene. So we're gonna make some food and then I might do some more like planning work to figure out what the scene is gonna look like, but I don't think we're gonna do much, if any, actual writing for the rest of tonight. I think I'm just gonna plan out this chapter to figure out what I'm gonna write tomorrow. If that's the case, then that that you saw on the screen was the final word count for today and the final word count for this vlog. So it's a little after eight o'clock now and I'm realizing something. So I have been pretty much only writing the then chapters. I wrote the first handful of now chapters, then got stuck, decided to focus on one timeline at a time. But now I'm getting to a part in the then chapters where I'm realizing like it's hard for me to make decisions on like the overall arc because I don't know what's happening in the then timeline for that to correspond with, if that makes sense. So um, I brainstormed a couple of chapters for then, but I actually think I'm gonna start focusing on the now timeline tomorrow and at least trying to figure out. I've been kind of putting this off because I know I made a wrong turn in the most recent chapter that I wrote in that timeline, so I'm gonna have to delete a lot, so I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, I think I need to sit down and like really think about what I'm doing with that timeline in order to move forward with the other one. So I think tomorrow's gonna be a big, just like brainstorming kind of day. So we might not have very many good word count days in the next couple of days, but brainstorming and outlining stuff is important too and it needs to get done. So we'll see. I'm not sure what my exact word count is because I've been like going back and like adding stuff in random places, but we're at least over 23,000 words which is way over my goal for the weekend, so I'm really happy with that. And I'm gonna end the vlog here, so thanks for hanging out with me this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. If there's links to a ton of different stuff down below in the description. And I'll just see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye. So hit me.
so hit me So hit me First a confession With you I feel a connection With